these families had been separated under President Donald Trump's now-abandoned zero-tolerance policy toward illegal immigrants. As of Thursday, 541 of the children remained separated and under care of the Office of Refugee Resettlement, while another 24 under age 5 also remained in federal care. More than 2,000 children have already been reunited with their parents. The plan sets out processes to locate parents outside the country, assess their fitness as parents, and determine their intentions for their children. It also includes provisions negotiated this week, including that the government arrange travel for reunited children and not impair their right to seek future asylum. Trump abandoned the separation policy on June 20 after widespread criticism at home and internationally. Sabrov said he would reserve judgment on a disputed issue of whether removed parents could be reunited with their children in the United States, instead of their original countries, including parents who may want asylum for their children. Sabrov has been overseeing the reunification process since ordering on June 26 that families be reunited. In a related case, Sabrov on Thursday put an indefinite freeze on deporting families who were separated at the border including those who have been reunited. Lawyers for the families had argued that some parents may have unknowingly waived their reunification rights, and that children have a right to their parents' help in seeking asylum.